Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about meal planning and giving you my top tips on how we do it and how to get started if you are a beginner. I feel like a beginner at the moment because we've just had the summer holidays and during that time, I wasn't as organized as I wanted to be. We had so many days out that meal planning kind of went out of the window. So now that the kids are back to school, I really wanna get back into the habit because when I meal plan, I feel so much more organized. It also saves saves me time, money, and calories. And it's just a really good feeling when you wake up and you look at the board, you pull out what you need to from the freezer, or if one of the kids asks you what's for dinner, you just can say, is this. Yes, yeah, so in this house we tend to meal plan from Monday to Friday and leave the weekends free. On the weekend we might get a takeaway one night or we might go out for dinner. So I kind of play that by ear. But as long as I have written down what we're having from Monday to Friday, I feel much more organized. So I tend to sit down on a Sunday night and plan our meals and write our shopping list. The first step is to assess what you already have and also look at your schedule. So just go into the fridge, see if you have any meat or veg, things like that that you need to use up and plan those meals first. Put them at the beginning of the week. You can also look in your freezer if you have any frozen meals that you want to use up and just put them into your schedule first. Another really good tip is to look at your children's menu for the week. So if your kids are at school like mine, they get hot dinners and there have been a couple of times where they've had sausage and mash for lunch and then they've come home and I have made sausage and mash for dinner. So to avoid that, look at their menu as well. Make sure nothing's clashing. Once you've noted down the recipes that you want to make from the ingredients that you already have, then it's time to get inspiration for the other days. So I will just look through our cookbooks and apps Pinterest is also amazing, and I love to remake recipes from recipe cards that we get in food subscription boxes. And that brings me nicely to my next point, which is to try out a food subscription box. I have used HelloFresh for years, and I think it's probably the easiest way to get started with meal planning. So if you don't know what they are, you basically go onto their website and order a box. They have all different types of ones. They have a classic box, they have a family box, or my personal favorite is the rapid box. All of the recipes in the rapid pox take just 20 minutes to make and it all just comes to your door pre-proportioned out ingredients and also the recipe cards and then all you have to do is follow the recipe cards with the exact ingredients that you have and you make delicious dinners you can make them for the whole family or just for you and your partner if you want to and it's just really easy and simple so I'll treat us to that at least once a month one thing I really like about HelloFresh is that it is a rolling subscription but with no commitment so you can pause it stop it start it up again whenever you want to and it's just really really fresh and delicious recipes they have chefs that decide what it's gonna be and organize it all for you it's a no-brainer and it's a great way to try out new recipes that you never would have thought of I tend to stick to my same staple dinners all the time but I love trying out new ones that they send me and then as I said I can remake them whenever I want to so if you want to try HelloFresh out, they have given me a discount code so that you can get 50% off your first and second box if you use the code Delicious Norris. Love that. So I'll put the links in the description down below, but you can go to the website and just use that code and you'll get 50% off your first and second. Give it a try. If you haven't before, I think you'll be really, really impressed. Once we've decided on all the meals that we're going to have that week, I will write it down on our meal planning chalkboard. I found this in a local shop, but if you don't have something like this, you can get some great printables on a Pinterest, or you could just write it down or print it off of your computer, just so you know what is coming that week. And then once I have that, I will write out our shopping list. So I'll put everything I need for the meals and then add breakfast, lunches, snacks, and everything around that, but that is kind of the best. Once you have your list, it's time to go online and shop. If you can get in the habit of online shopping as a mom, it is such a game changer. If I ever miss a week of doing this, I just regret it because it's so much more difficult to drag your kids to the supermarket and try and get what you need with them. So if you can sit down on a Sunday night with a nice cup of tea and just order everything that you need and it just arrives at your door, it's amazing. 
My last tip is to be flexible and to also have backup meals as well. So if you get to a day and you don't really fancy what's on the menu that day, you can swap them around because you have the ingredients um, and also have backup meals. So I have a few pasta dishes that I can make just from things in my dry cupboard, just in case there is a day where you don't have something and also keep a little bit of stock in your freezer. There are days when you get stuck in traffic and you come in and you need to whip up something for the kids really quickly so I have things in my freezer like sweet potato wedges chips fish cakes fish fingers and chicken nuggets as well just in case I don't always like to use them but it's really good to have backups like that as well so yes I hope you like this video and as I said I will put the link in the description and you can use the code delicious Norris for 50% off at HelloFresh as I said I really recommend it I've talked about them for years I just think they're great so fresh um, so yes anyway thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one bye guys